Hi, this is Steve Suffoletto, Erie Community College, SUNY Erie. Uh, we're going to videotape uh, a demonstration of making fountain solution. This will be for Litho Press One, fall of 2019, week number nine. Okay, so in this yellow uh, fire cabinet on the top shelf, we keep uh, the water bottles for the uh, 3202 M press, and then we got the four quart bottles for the 2800, and then we have our concentrate, our mixed working solution, and um, a measuring cup. So let's take these out and take a look at these for a second here. Okay, now you already have the uh, specification sheet for our fountain solution. Um, Flint is an ink company and they bought out Varn many years ago and Varn makes a fountain solution called Versi. It's a fountain solution. So right on this white one gallon jug, it's an opaque gallon jug by the way, are the directions for mixing. So if you're using a uh, dampening system like the Compact or the uh, Crestline, it says you want to use one to two ounces per quart of water. So that's a dilution ratio of one to 15 parts. So let's use the middle. Uh, one to two, 1 1.5 is the middle. So that means you would mix one and a half gallons of your concentrate with water to make a quart. Or because there's four quarts in a gallon, you would multiply this times four, and that would be six ounces per gallon, okay? And there's 128 ounces in a gallon, which means uh, that the fountain solution is mostly water. It's about 94, 95% water. So let's go ahead and mix this up. Okay, so now that we, again, we have the technical literature from Flint for Varn for Versi, and it gives us the mixing instructions and directions and some HMIS, which is hazardous material identification system. Uh, the VOCs are the volatile organic compounds. And it's telling us the, uh, well, it doesn't tell us the actual pH, but it does tell us that the fountain solution is buffered. Okay, uh, you now have received this uh, blank fountain solution worksheet and here are the answers so uh, a nickname for fountain solution is called etch the manufacturer is Varn which is owned by Flint the brand is called Versi and the purpose of the fountain solution is to dampen moisten the non-image area background of the plate to keep it clean ink doesn't stick to wet surfaces also to replenish the initial gum layer that's being gradually worn off the plate on every revolution. So recall, when we finish the plate, we put gum air back on the plate, but every revolution of the plate cylinder, you deplete that layer. So the gum air bit being applied to every revolution of the, of the plate uh, will replenish it. So what are the basic ingredients in this uh, concentrated fountain solution or etch? Basically, it's an acid to lower the pH and a gum air bit to make the non-image air or the background hydrophilic. Hydro meaning water, philic meaning loving, water loving. Now when you mix this fountain solution up, it should have a greenish cast to it. And the mixing ratio, as we just discussed based on the instructions here, uh, are one to 15 or one and a half ounces per quart or six ounces per gallon, which is about 4.7%. That's your concentration dosage or your strength. And remember that there's four quarts in a gallon, 32 ounces in a quart, 128 ounces in a gallon, and there's 16 ounces in a pint. 
and two pints make a quart. All right, so if we take regular faucet tap water and measure its pH, it some, should be somewhere around neutral, 7.0. But when we mix this up, we're going to check it with a pH meter. It should be somewhere around 4, 4.5. Four 5 might be too high. And if we measure the conductivity, which is the, uh, a measure of the amount of dissolved solids in the water, um, the tap water might be around 40 micromoles, which would tell you if the water is hard or soft. And then when you mix it, uh, we're thinking we should be somewhere around 1,300. Again, that's a guess until we measure it. Any safety concerns with this fountain solution? No, it's all the HMIS values are pretty low, nothing special. So you don't need gloves, you don't need any eyeglass protection. Disposal, it's safe to pour this down the sink drain into the sewer because it's, again, 96% water. And references, again, see the technical spec sheet and do some searching on the internet. Uh, Fuji has a very good uh, publication document on fountain solution. Okay, so let's do the mix. Here's your fountain concentrate. We're gonna mix up one gallon. So this is pretty hard to see here, but here's two, here's four, here's six, and here's eight. We want six ounces. So let's pour that in. And that looks pretty good. Six ounces. Pour this concentrate in. You can see it's got that bright green color, but as you dilute it, it'll uh, get paler, weaker. Okay, we're going to turn the water faucet hose on. I'm going to clean this out. We'll fill this up. Uh, one gallon is about right about here. Okay, that's good for the gallon. Now remember, there's four quarts in a gallon, and because we have the four presses, uh, a gallon at the start of the lab should fill up all the bottles completely. Okay, so let's put everything away that we don't need. Here's your quart bottle for the press. Now remember, there's a little rubber gasket here. You gotta make sure you always have that rubber gasket and you have this spring-loaded valve here. So we're gonna fill up your quart bottle. You can see that the uh, color has gotten lighter here. Put your top back on, make sure you got your rubber gasket. And when I turn this upside down, uh, the liquid should create a vacuum and nothing should pour out. When you put this into the press, the spring pushes up, breaks the vacuum, and now you uh, fill up your fountain tray or your fountain pan. Okay, that's how you mix up the fountain solution. Once again, you have the choice of making up a gallon, six ounces for a gallon, or you can only mix up your own quart bottle, one and a half ounces per quart. Bye now.